Okay. I'm Wait, I'm not ready. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> How are you today? I, I'm great. Good. I loved your show. I saw it last night. First of all, congratulations on your Drama Desk nomination. Thank you so much. That's, is that exciting? Because you wrote the show. It's beyond exciting because to me, the Drama Desk, as I grew up here in New York City and would see all the wonderful people who had been nominated and who won the Drama Desk, mm -hmm. I mean, to me, that was the, the Cadillac of all mm -hmm. awards and to have the Drama Desk nomination now. Myself, I'm a very happy camper. I'm glad to hear it. Well, it's a wonderful show. Thank you. How did you decide to go about writing the show? Well, I think it's been in the works since I was about 14 years old. Really? I mean, I knew Zero Mostel, uh -huh. and uh, I got to hang out backstage with him, you know, during forum. And I think I just took on a lot of his characteristics and his mm -hmm. mannerisms. And uh, even in high school, I just recently found my uh, high school yearbook. And it said, Jim Brochu, the zero Mostel of LaSalle. <laughs> so back when I was 18, yeah. I, I was, you know, kind of doing him. And then as I got to be the age he was when he died, I thought maybe now it's time to uh, take this on and to talk about the issues that were, you know, important to him. And uh, he, he had an incredible life full of obstacles that he got over with humor and rage and, mm -hmm. and all different emotions. I had no idea about the blacklist uh, uh, issue in the show. Yeah. That's, these are all factual, this happened? Yeah, oh, of course. Oh, of course. Many people lost their livelihood for years. Right. Oh, I know that it happened. I yeah. didn't know that he was involved in that. Oh, yes. Yeah, he was, uh, he actually never joined the Communist Party because he said it cost $60. <laughs> really? And he, and he didn't he want cheap? to spend the $60. Was he cheap? He was thrifty, I would say. Really? Well, I mean, most actors are when they don't, know when the next meal is coming from. Sure. Most actors starting out live month to month and then of course when the blacklist hit uh, he was he was especially uh, thrifty but mm -hmm. no he, he, he said he only went to Communist Party meetings because he believed uh, in socialism mm -hmm. and as I say in the play they were fighting fascism the world you know World War II was on and he always said we weren't fighting you know America we were fighting fascism. Right. So, uh, so, but he did get caught up, and he did get named, mm -hmm. and the people who were named were dragged in front of the committee, and if they, the committee did not like their answers, they were blacklisted. You know, it's really surprising, you know, that that actually happened. It's, but a lot of horrible things have happened that we try to forget. Well, I mean, and it could happen all over again. Let's I mean, hope I, not. I, I understand. Well, it's it's already happening. There's there's Republicans who are now saying, oh, they're un-American. And here we go again, that same term being used. There's a really? representative named Michelle Bachman from Minnesota who's just as crazy as a hoot owl. Mm -hmm. You know, well, this, well they're un-American, and, and we can't let it happen again. We just cannot. No, we can't. So, but, you know, what about, what do you, what do you love about Zero Mostel? Well, I, I love the fact that he was a survivor and he was a fighter and the, the fact that he was so creative in so many different ways. He was not only a brilliant actor, but he was a great painter. Um, you know, he had all those different um, uh, creations at his fingertips. And uh, he was a very, very talented man, and I admire his talent. And how lucky I was to get to see him. Right. In person, I saw him in uh, Ulysses, uh, the Broadway production. And I saw uh, Fiddler, and I saw Forum. I saw them all many, many times. That's great. Well, which was your favorite of the shows? Did you oh, have Fiddler. One? Fiddler. Oh, yeah. He was masterful. Right. And I sat in the front row. Was that one of your first Broadway musicals that you that you witnessed? Or? Oh, no. No? Okay. No, the first Broadway musical I witnessed was Ethel Merman and Gypsy. Oh, my God. I'm so jealous of you. That's amazing. Was, How was that? What was, was that? what was Ethel Merman like? It live. I've never seen her perform live. She was a force of nature. Yes. Yeah. She went to high school with my grandmother. Oh, is that right? Yes. The, uh, William Cullen Bryant High School. I, I really don't know. I know that. I guess that's where my grandmother went because they yeah. went to school together. In Queens. In I thought it was Brooklyn. No, she grew up in Queens in oh. Astoria. Okay, because maybe, maybe my grandmother lived in Queens for a while. I don't know. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, but... Um, She's, and your grandmother was a force of nature, too. I, she looked a little like Ethel Merman. Did she? <laughs> yes. She was <clears throat> shorter. Ethel was great, and she never translated to um, television or film. I mean, that was a, oh, a performance. Oh, that Madam, um, you know, that movie, is it, I forget, Madam, Make Me Madam. I forget the Make name. Make Me Madam. That, yeah. it, is, is that from? Call Me Madam. Call Me Madam. Call Me Madam was, 
that's one of my favorite movies. I absolutely love that film. Oh, it's with a her. great film. But I've never, I never had the opportunity to see her live, which yeah. is very upsetting to me. So, what, so <clears> tell, what, <throat> she was a force of nature. What else was she like? Did you ever meet her? Yes, I, I met her. You did. I did. Was she nice? She was very nice. Yes, yeah. friendly and just v like she, she was. She was very down to earth. Yes. She was just a very down to earth, plain, simple. I not only knew Merman, I knew her parents. Mm -hmm. uh, wow, what yeah. were her parents like? Well, they were terrible. They were just <laughs> terrible. No, they were wonderful. Yes. They were great people. Yeah, Warm. They, they were all very down to earth. Ethel and, uh, I mean, Ed and Agnes Zimmerman were her parents. Oh. And uh, so, yeah, I was very lucky to uh, get to have spent a lot of time with Merman. And her son is still a friend of ours. Really? Yeah. How, uh, what does he do? Is he a singer? He doesn't really do much of anything. No? He's kind of a hippie. Really? Yeah, yeah. And he's a darling man. He lives, I, I don't want to say where he lives, but he no. lives in a very quiet town in California no? where people, it's kind of an artist community. <clears throat> and uh, he keeps his identity uh, of who his mother was very secret. Mm -hmm. You know, he doesn't live off of her reputation. But he's, he's just a great guy, and uh, we, we love him very much. Oh, that's wonderful. Well, I'm a huge fan of Merman, so that was very interesting. I'm also a huge fan of, of you. Thank you. So, and I've seen a few of your shows. What was the other show that you, I saw you in about um, with Merman in the, in the title? The, the big voice, <laughs> God or Danny Kay, <laughs> something like that. We have a little audience here this afternoon. We're, I know. On, we're on the stage of the DR2 Theater right. in Union Square where Zero Hour is playing. And how long, how can people get tickets? What do they have to do to call? <clears throat> are, are there any tickets available? Telecharge tele or walk up to the window. Okay. Telecharge. Okay. Or walk up to the window. Box office opens at two hours before showtime. Box oh. office opens two <laughs> hours before showtime. <laughs> Great. And we're at 103 East 15th Street. Okay. Uh, right across uh, from Union Square. And is it eight times a week? Seven times Seven a week. Seven times a week. Yes. What, we, what are, when are you dark? What day? We're dark on Mondays. Okay. And we do Tuesday at 7, Wednesday at 2, uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at 8, okay. and matinee Saturday and Sunday at 2 and 3. Well, it's wonderful. Congratulations on your nomination. Thank you. And people have to go and see your show. It's, yes, it's, they do. It's a must see. If not sooner. Seat, uh, call right away or come right away. Walk down to Union Square and Please come do. see it. Thank you so much, Jim, for this interview. I appreciate it. My pleasure. It.